Hello, viewers. Today on the Curiosity Rocks channel, I'm going to give you a tour of the wonderful Assembly Square. So here I am outside Assembly Square, the wonderful new building complex. Let me take you on a tour. We start with this wonderful fountain. It's very modern art. And next we shall be interviewing the baker at the wonderful bakery. Hello Mr Baker. What do you think of your new premises? Well, I think they're brilliant to be honest. Although I'm not sure about my front windows. They're a bit, uh, not very see-through. And I have noticed that you can't really see the cakes to their full effect, can you? Because there's all them different panes of glass in. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. I would have preferred clear windows. And I heard from builders that they had a bit of trouble putting windows in. I heard they were quite fiddly. Oh, you don't want that, do you? So, what sort of cakes do you sell the most of here? Well, we do a very good trade in vanilla slices. Oh, I love a vanilla slice. I like a, I like a gatto as well. Oh, yes, yes. We do do birthday cakes, and as you can see from front window, we do uh, do wedding cakes as well. Oh, I stored that wedding cake in the window. Let's go and talk about it. It's a beautiful cake, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, I'll let you into a secret. It's not actually cake, this example. It's a cardboard and polystyrene. See, we can't keep a fresh wedding cake in the window because it'll go off and... The brides don't always want what's at window. Oh, so what do you do? How does a bride come to your bakery to order a wedding cake? Well, uh, the bride can come in, all bride's family, whoever, and if they bring us an idea, a few pictures, maybe a drawing of what um, kind of cake they want, and we'll have a, a chat about uh, flavours and uh, textures, and they can try a few samples of the cake we do and then we'll, um, well actually my, my son is very into computers and he says we can whip them up the design on computer and we don't waste cake so I thought we could do that so the bride comes in, tastes the cake my son whips up it, their design ideas on computer we send, we send that in an email to Brad, get approval, and then we get on with making cake. Do you do deliveries? Oh yes, we do deliver the cakes to the weddings. That's brilliant. Thank you, Mr Baker, for have uh, for showing us round your lovely shop. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Have a nice day now, love. Thank you. I am now outside the florist where you can see a wonderful r array of fresh blooms. Now I'm going to go into the florist and we'll have a chat to the florist and see how she likes her new premises. Hello dear. Hello. I'm showing people around assembly square today and i'd just like to ask how do you feel about your new premises oh i love it dearie it's great it's, well it's right next to it, wedding cake suppliers so brides can come in here and order flowers at the same time it's very convenient and it does us a lot of business i see you've got a wonderful array of flowers oh yes we do have quite a good selection Although we don't have sorted balloons. 
because if you want exotic blooms nowadays you have to go on to internet and we don't really do to internet we, help, we, we prefer the personal service I see so what are your top selling flowers well we do a good line in roses all different colours you know um, the lads come in they want roses they want red roses we tell them it's boring and we give them orange ones that kind of thing you know oh wow that's very interesting so do you, do you like it here oh yeah I'm very pleased with shop and we do quite a good lot of business that's fantastic I'm now going to visit the coffee shop. Oh, you'll like it there, Doc. They do a great line of coffees. Thank you. I am now outside the coffee shop, as you can see from this wonderful sign. Let's go in and see if we can get ourselves caffeinated. Hello. This is a beautiful coffee shop. What's your top selling coffee? Oh, well, we do a lovely caramel macchiato with a gingerbread man on top with a bit of cinnamon and a bit of gingerbread syrup. Caramel macchiato with gingerbread syrup and cinnamon? Wow, that sounds really tasty. Aye, it is. I see it's very comfortable in here. Do you get people staying for a long time? Oh yeah, you got some people in all day with the dogs. He's outside. Oh, I saw that dog outside. Where's his owner? Well, his owner's just popped up bank love. And what's your um, best-selling snack? Oh, well, we do a mean cherry pie, you see. I saw that. It looks very tasty. Is there any call for teas round here? Oh, well, there's a few people who will like a tea, prefer a tea. But most of the stuff we sell is the coffee, because it's a big trend nowadays for to have these posh coffees. Wow! Do you do any of these secret menu items I hear about? Oh, no, no, we don't do that. We haven't, we're not a big enough company for do that, you see. They can go off to these big chains if they want these secret menu things. But here you get what's on menu. I see. But we do do we do change menu about a couple of times a week, so there's always something new for you to have. Wow. I see there's a um set of stairs behind you. Oh yeah, that set of stairs, right. Well that goes um, to the second level where there's a nice uh, young man who likes musical instruments and there's actually a ballet studio on top of that. Wow, they sound really interesting. I'll have to go and interview them. Oh yeah, there's lots going on in Assembly Square and lots of people want coffee. Thank you. Hello, this is a lovely musical instrument shop you've got here. From the way that we're talking downstairs in coffee shop, you made it sound like you was just some new had a lot of instruments. Yeah, they do that downstairs in coffee shop. I think it's because people come up here, play the instruments badly, and they get complaints from coffee shop downstairs, and they think it's just me having a laugh. Oh, well that must not be very good. What sort of instruments do you sell? Oh, well, we do have a nice line of nice, very nice guitars. Four string guitars, very nice. Four string guitars, aren't they ukuleles? Uh, sorry, sorry, guitars and four string ukuleles, is what I meant. I, I do know my instruments, but you can always learn more. I see you've got a drum kit at window. Oh yeah, that's a very popular drum kit. The people are always playing on that, having a bash at cymbals. Uh, I also see you've got a, an amazing saxophone. Yeah, well, been a mile off that saxophone. People keep coming up from coffee shop 
and they, and they all want to play Baker Street. It's like Sherlock Holmes convention. No, everybody just wants to play Baker Street on saxophone. I don't think they know any other tunes on saxophone. Oh, I do like that tune though. So, do you sell a lot of instruments? Uh, well, I sell a few. It's business isn't brisk per se as as the ukulele market it's saturated now everybody's got a ukulele don't know what where they put them all oh i've seen many reviews where have you seen these reviews love oh got a ukulele on youtube it's great it's always telling people about ukuleles oh so i saw so many then so i shall be grateful but yeah we sell, We also sell electric guitars, obviously that um, annoys people as well. But it's quite handy having my instruments here, because I'm, I'm a piano fixer as well, and the belly studio upstairs is always asking me to fix piano, so it's quite handy being here. That's brilliant. Thank you for telling us about your musical instrument shop today. Oh, you're very welcome, love. Wow, who'd have thought you could get a ballet studio up top at Assembly Square? Oh yes, it's, it's very nice, very convenient being next to the piano tuner. Ah, I, I see your piano, it's amazing, can I have a tinkle on it? Well, um, I'd prefer you not to, dear. It's a, a very expensive baby grand piano and uh, they don't just let anybody play it. Oh, that's a shame. So, who plays the piano for you? Well, I do have a dear, dear friend who comes up and gives me a musical accompaniment to my dancing dear. I see you've got a wonderful mirror set up next to your bar. I bet you can do a lot of party daisies up here. Oh, y y yes. Yes, it's very nice sprung floor too. So uh, overall, adding to the daylight coming through the lovely balcony, Juliet balcony window, it's a very nice place to practice my ballet. Wow, that's amazing. Do you do a lot of pedouette? Can you fit many pirouettes in here? Oh, well, as belly, you have to use the space. So, yes, I can do all my belly moves in here. It's a lot bigger than it seems, you know. Wow. Thank you for hosting me at your belly studio today. Yes, belly studio, dear. Um, yes, it's very nice to talk to you. Thank you. Hello there, you are the dentist here in Assembly Square. That's right love, how are you doing? Um, do you find it difficult being a dentist above a cake shop? Uh, well, not for me personally because um, well, it's very convenient actually, I have a lot of cake. I should lose a bit of weight to be honest. Uh, but um, it is a bit of a challenge for the patients when they have to come past the cake shop to get up to my uh, dentist place. I see you don't have a uh, wall between the waiting room and your setup. Do you think that's very hygienic? Yeah, well, I did wonder that when I moved in here. We didn't have a a uh, wall to separate the waiting room and to be honest it has scares off a lot of passengers passengers uh, yeah like when i put them in the chair and move it squeeze it around up and down um uh, just keep them relaxed and happy but turn around and playing oh that sounds comforting 
Yeah, it actually calms a lot of people down, you know. But I do wish it were a bit more private, because when they start screaming, it's not very helpful, because half the waiting room scarpers. It screaming, you do use anaesthetic, don't you? Oh, well, a dash here and there. You can't use too much. Well, obviously. Um, but, um, what well, I just like to get in the mouths, get job done as fast as I can. And then, because I get paid per patient, you know, so I do want to fit quite a few in in a day. So I just, um, well, some people say I do bare minimum. Well, that's not true. Uh, uh, I see. Um, do you like being on the second floor of Assembly Square? Um, second floor is pretty good. You get a, a nice bit of light through winter, so it's uh, better than being on bottom because um, the way buildings are arranged in Assembly Square, them on bottom, they don't get much daylight through because we're very close together, little alleyways. So it is uh, nicer being on the uh, second floor. I see. Um, do you hear a lot of noise from the instrument shop across the way? Uh, well, I tell you what, uh, I go in there. Um, actually, I go in there every day. I uh, like to play a bit of Baker Street on the saxophone. Ah, he loves it when I turn up. We don't have a nice rock out to Baker Street. It's brilliant. Um, okay. Um, it's very nice to meet you at your dentist's here. Uh, hang on a minute, love. Let me have a look at your mouth. Uh, n n no, that, that's fine. Um, I, I do, I do have my own dentist. Um, I hear there's a, uh, through that door, there's a photography studio. Oh, yeah, love. He's, he's great, he is. He does fabulous photographs. My patients come in here, I get the teeth done, and then half of them are Hollywood stars, like, so they get teeth done and go for a photo shoot. I, I see, that's brilliant. I'll go and interview him now. Thank you for welcoming me, welcoming me to your dentists. Oh, that's all right, love. This this is a lovely photography studio. Oh, you're gorgeous, love. Strike pose for me, love. Uh, yeah, uh, um, in, in a minute. This is a wonderful photography studio. See, you've got a wonderful backer. Oh, blood. Oh, Vogue. Do a Vogue, love. Do a Vogue. Chin up, love. Chin up. Got a lovely, got a lovely curve to your jawbone. Uh, yes, um, I, I would like to do this, uh, interview. Oh. Oh, to the side, love, to the side. Suck that tummy in a bit. Uh, um, okay. Um, uh, yeah, give us a twirl, love. Go on, then, give us a twirl. Oh, lovely. Flashes a smile, flashes a smile. Flip your head a bit. Oh, that's brilliant, love. That's great. Oh, you can be a model, you could. Uh, yes. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. Oh, hang on, love. Don't you want your prince, love? Wow, what a cosy apartment. You've got a lovely little kitchen, a, a toilet and a, a lovely sofa. I see you're a bit of a Lego fan. Oh yeah, I love, I love me Lego. I, I just, I can't start buying Lego to be honest. I need to cut down on it, but I just can't start buying it because I need like all the different sets and all the ideas. So, um, my apartment's pretty full up with Lego. Oh, don't mind him, love. He's me nephew. I'm just babysitting today. <laughs> oh, 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 you don't need changing again, do you? You haven't charted, have you? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about this, love. Oh, it's okay. Um, so, do you find, do you find this apartment suitable to your needs uh well um it could be bigger to be honest with you um that sofa is a sofa bed because obviously i haven't got a bedroom in this apartment and 
I have to go to the gym to even have a wash because I don't even have a sink in my toilet to wash my hands with. I have to wash my hands in the kitchen sink and I do worry about the hygiene issues of that. I see. I did notice on the way in that there's a, a, a very big um, sort of, would you say that's a communal, communal barbecue area outside? Yeah. To be honest, it really makes me angry that because I could have used that space for uh, another bedroom or add it as a big lounge, then I could have fit all my Lego in there. But no, the town planners, they said it was going to be a communal um, barbecue space. Uh, I, have to, I think I'm going right to council because I could really do with that extra space. I can barely fit myself in here, never mind my little nephew. Me and I have to babysitting and I've got a few more Lego sets I've got my eye on. I really could do with the extra space. It's ridiculous. I see. Um, yes, it does seem very cosy. Uh, you mean small, love? Yeah, it's tiny, but this is what I could afford. And I mean... Not half of these neighbours, they don't even use that barbecue space because I see half of them in coffee shop. So I really would like that barbecue space as some extra room for me flat, to be honest. I see. Well, I'm going to go and explore the barbecue space in a minute. Um, thank you for letting me into your flat today. I'm sorry if it's been inconvenient. Oh, it's been okay, love. It's all right. <laughs> oh, I think I think I'll leave you to it. Thank you for the interview today. Oh, thanks, love. We are uh, finishing today's draw of Assembly Square here at the communal barbecue space. As you can see, there's a, a very big grill for barbecuing any kind of meat that you want to bring up here, and. There is a very private space if you want to have private conversations or romantic rendezvous. Um, this is a very large space and I have to agree it could be used as more housing because I think people these days are more likely to congregate in the coffee shop seeing as this communal barbecue space is quite out of the way and without a view from the centre of Assembly Square. So I hope you have enjoyed this tour of Assembly Square and I hope you will consider making a visit and helping, helping these businesses out. I've been Curiosity Rocks for the Curiosity Rocks channel. Thank you for watching.